Inky wrote about it. He told about it so nobody else can come and twist it around. Okay? Which has happened. But it's still there. The text is still there for everybody to see. Whoever wants to see it. You know? And that's, like I said, with Alalo, that's how a lot of shit got kicked off. They were united then. They were united. It wasn't until a new, a news ego started, you know, fucking things up and it lived going around sleeping with underage girls, you know, getting them pregnant. I'm telling you black folks something, you know. Black folks gotta understand that you know, women being born out of wedlock, or the children being born out of wedlock ain't nothing new. It ain't. It ain't a good thing, but it ain't nothing new. Alright? Because the Anunnaki was sleeping around, okay? They was, they was sleeping around having babies and shit like that by different women. Ain't no telling how many, how much, how many women a new done had, okay? But it goes to tell you how many he done had. If Alalu's wife was Inky's uh, mother, okay? That was his mama. She slept with Anu, got pregnant, had Inky. Alalu's stepdaddy. You know, that's, that, that's, that's uh, even odd these days, you see what I'm saying? But the thing about it, it ain't nothing new. But the thing about it also is that daddies, fathers were still there for their for their kids. You know, they were still there for their children. They lived a long time also. So they didn't really have much of a choice but to be there for their kids. But they, they were there a lot of them were there for their kids. Okay? They the kids knew who daddy was. They knew who mama was. Alright, they knew. But um you white folks, you know, y'all don't do that kind of shit. You know, the whole marriage concept with putting a fucking ring on the finger, that's a Roman concept. That's not a black concept. That's, that's not what black people have done, okay, or have ever done. The ring, putting a ring on somebody's finger, marrying them, that's a Roman, con an ancient Roman concept, okay? That's what it is. The Anunnaki, when you slept with somebody, you pretty much married them. Okay? You pretty much married them in a sense. And they they were still your a, a part of you. On, even on a DNA level, okay? On a scientific level. A woman that's a woman that sleep that have multiple sex partners, okay? From the time that she has had sex up in time to the time to the time that she died, she has all of those she those men become a part of her, okay? If it's you know raw sex, if they hitting it with with no protection, okay? Because there's always a little bit of the sperm that you know. The, the 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 pre calm or whatever you know go up inside the woman that don't that don't go no that stays there that attaches to your to your DNA yes it does it fucking does look it up okay if you don't believe me look it up the male gene is a dominant gene it's a dominant gene hands down it's the fucking dominant gene it determines how a person is going to be, uh, what they're going to look like, etc., etc. The male gene is the dominant gene. That's why they tell you that a lot of women don't sleep around with a, have multiple sex partners. Because you can be sick. Literally. You can get sick by having too many, sleep around with too many men unprotected. Okay? If two men you know, just give it to you off. Two men nut up in some pussy, okay? One after another. 
the that's gonna be a that's gonna be a war inside that vagina. That's gonna be a war in that pussy. Two sperms, two different genes fight. The dominant one is gonna win, okay? And that's what's gonna be the one that fertilizes the damn egg. Alright? So, you know, the whole thing about, you know, uh the Roman concept, the ring and all that kind of shit, nah, that's what you white folks. You white folks ain't the Anunnaki. Never was the Anunnaki. Never, uh, uh, never was a part of the Anunnaki. And probably never will be. Okay? If you want to understand the Anunnaki, you got to understand black folks first. Right here on this goddamn planet. Hands down. You can study all the damn texts you want if you don't look at black folks on this planet. Okay? The oldest people on this planet. You'll never understand the Anunnaki. You think I'm just some nigga up here talking. Look at this crazy nigga talking. He don't know shit. This nigga don't know shit. He covering up his face. He don't know a damn thing. He just lying. He don't know nothing. He black. He don't know shit. I'm white. I know every damn thing. I have a degree, etc., etc. That's how you white folks think. You think that we don't know shit besides sports and music and, and that kind of stuff. You got to understand... When it's a level playing field, we can dominate. Okay? Blacks weren't even allowed to play in the goddamn uh, baseball leagues. Okay? A long time ago. They had to play in, in the, what, what was called the Negro Leagues. Alright? We, we, they weren't allowed to play with you white folks. But when the doors started opening up, black folks started dominating shit. Okay? The re reason why we don't dominate a lot of other shit is because we discriminated against. When it's a level playing field, more than likely we will dominate. We will. Because a lot of us are the descendants of the Anunnaki. Okay? Not only dominated this whole planet at one time, but dominated others as well. Yes, the one that you looking behind me, Mars as well. A lot loose body. Well, his body might not rest there no more because you white folks probably wouldn't have got it. You know, it, you steady looking for your history, but our history keep turning up. That ought to tell you something right there. A fucking black man's body was on a goddamn, uh, on Mars. Okay? We not limited to this damn planet. And that's one of the biggest secrets. David Icke, that's one of the biggest fucking secrets you're not talking about. You're not. There's no way you can get around trying to understand the goddamn Anunnaki if you can't look at black folks on this planet. You go talk to Tweedo Mu, Mu, uh, Mu, Credo Mutua, but you won't, you, that's all you'll talk to. And he telling you, you know more shit than your ass. You know, you white folks need to fucking just start looking at shit for what it is. And I'm talking about talking to you ones on the mainstream. The, the people that look at the white people that look at shit from what it is is in a fucking lab somewhere. Real scientists. Okay? That's unbiased that, that just want the goddamn truth. That's that just want the truth. But a lot of you try to filter out that shit. No, it's not black people. It could be any any anything else, anybody else, but we we gotta rule out the black people. We got to rule them out. Say the goddamn Egyptians was, uh, it could be anything except black. When the, the, a lot of the fucking paintings on the wall show black. As black as this goddamn shirt I got on. Not brown, but black. Okay? Y'all white folks need to stop that shit. You need to stop it. Not all of you white folks, but for some of y'all. You know the fuck I'm talking about. You know, writing all these books and shit like that, don't want to acknowledge uh, the the influence that black people have had on this damn planet. You cannot get around it. The technology, you fucking right. Majority of the shit that we using right now come from the Anunnaki. Goddamn the uh, airplanes and jets and helicopters on the wall in Egypt. Huh? But you say, oh, the Wright brothers, 
invented the first airplane. That's bullshit. Bullshit. Black folks was riding around in fucking airplanes before the Wright brothers. Alright? Go look in the temples of Egypt. You'll see. Look at the Mayans. The Aztecs. You white folks need to stop that shit. You need to stop it. You can't get around it. You, it, you cannot get around it. Black people, this is our goddamn planet. Alright? This is ours. It is ours. Rightfully so. It is ours. I can't say no others, but this one, it is ours. There's more fucking artifacts that revolve around black people on this planet than any other goddamn civilization ever, okay? You got pyramids under the fucking water. All right, who built them pyramids? Black folks. Black people. That's why when the, 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 the KKK and all these racist groups tell you don't, don't mix with black people. They know why. They know why. Look, this fucking melanin on me is so goddamn powerful. If I go impregnate a white woman, it would take a white man to, to, to breed four generations to, to get that out. Okay? Four generations of, 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 of families to get that blackness out of there. And that might not even be enough. So you white folks need to stop. I'm keeping it real. I always come with the real shit. You white folks need to stop. Alright? You need to stop. Black people are fucking kings and queens. Alright? They are. They all like it or not. You cannot get around it. You cannot get around it. You can't. Native Americans in the same uh, within the same family you can't get around it y'all white folks steady looking for your history but our history keep turning up don't y'all get it don't you fucking get it our history keep turning up black people all right now back to this lost book of inky okay a lot of little died more than likely okay I don't know what what the digestive system is or, you know for the honor what was how it was made up with the Anunnaki back in the day but from the judging from the lost book of Inky all they ate was fruit and vegetables and shit okay they didn't eat no meat so if Alalu when he did swallow that penis his stomach didn't digest the penis, okay, properly. The re you know, meat, eating meat, okay? Our bodies were not designed to digest meat, okay? Period. Cook the uncooked. That's why we have to cook our meat. To digest it properly, because we don't, we get sick. You get sick unless your body build up immune immunity to, towards it or whatever. Develop more powerful enzymes to break that shit down. You'll get sick and die, and that's what happened with Alamu. Swallowed the penis, and then Donna Knocky knew he was gonna die. I doubt if uh, of uh, uh, that Anu had some kind of poison in his system. No, they did not eat meat. Okay. I'm almost absolutely sure they did not fucking eat meat during that time. And that's why Alalu got sick and he died. That's why he got sick and died. That's what I truly believe. But again, the Anunnaki were the beings that gave us our knowledge and sped up evolution okay it was black people on this planet first during that time the Anunnaki they did it they used their own DNA to make it a point but for you white folks that say the Anunnaki were anything else 
besides black, you have to look at that passage.